Many parents like myself can tell you that raising kids is probably one of the most rewarding jobs ever. But you know what? It's tough to balance that life with raising kids and being married. So what does it take to be a good partner and a good parent? Well, Dr. T.C. Brentley is back on the show. He's a relationship counselor and he's here with some advice. Hello. Welcome. Hello. It's always Hello. nice to have you. It's wonderful. Always a pleasure. Good, good, good. So what happens when you bring a child into the mix of oh, a relationship? Oh, my goodness. A lot, I'm they, assuming. It brings a lot of issues, a lot of responsibilities. And a lot of times what parents do is that they get so focused on the child, they forget about themselves. Well, it changes all the dynamics. Before you you get married, it's just, it's just the two of you. Then yes. all of a sudden, that third person is exactly. there. Exactly. Like, well, you know, just like you know, we have mo you know, I have, you know, I have mom <laughs> and dad. You know, hi, all happy and everything. And then as they start having more kids, all of a sudden, it starts to weigh on their love life. It starts to weigh on their communication because now they're investing so much time into the kids. They've stopped to investing in themselves. So how do you keep the romance alive? Oh, very easily. You, you number one, get a good babysitter. <laughs> get a babysitter <laughs> to keep the kids away. We love kids. But kids need to have their own time, their own play. So mommy and daddy, because understand this, mommy and daddy help produce the kids. A lot of times parents stop that production. They stop that production of love, that production of communication, all that good stuff around the corner. Now I know when I went through pre-Cana, we yes. talked about, uh, when my priest, yes. about a family unit. Yes. And he, he asked us, you know, when, when, kids, when kids arrive, who, who comes exactly. first? Exactly. Well, who comes first is not the kids, really. No, 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 no. Actually, no. should be your partner. It, 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 your, your husband and wife should be first. Adam and Eve, they were first. They were together. Then they had all the kids. But a lot of times, we get so much. And those who are single, like yourself, uh, for a little while, of course. Exactly. Uh, we're working on it, right, Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> that, you know what? You need to start planning. How can we make sure that we keep the romance hot? Because the kids will call it down. And it's something that you need to talk about, exactly. too, with your partner. Exactly. Has to be open. And also, rule number one. Rule number one, okay. do not have your kids sleep in the same bed with you after a certain time. That definitely destroys uh, A-bombs, everything that's going on in the family life. <laughs> but is it okay at any time? There's sometimes when kids Every are now okay and then in a if room. a child is sick, but well, sometimes that child is going to be, you know, perpetrating. Oh, I am sick, and the Academy Award goes to this kid. Or, no. or there's thunder and lightning outside. Uh, I understand that, but there's okay. thunder and lightning going on inside the bedroom. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have your key points here uh, to keep the romance alive. Yes, ma'am. Understand the process. We talked about that. I understand the process. Dress for each other. Oh, my. It, it's so, it, it, it's mind-boggling <laughs> how when you were single and you started dating, you know, got married, I mean, you dressed crazy for each other. Then the kids come, you start dressing like slobs. And, you know, you don't, you know, show what uh, got the man interested in you. The guy gets a big old gut. And then, I mean, stop that. Get to care back. of yourself. Go back to the original because it was the original and got you together. Get back to it. So throw the true. sweatpants out the window. I, I don't you. have any. Okay. I don't have any. <laughs> uh, uh, la ladies, hear me loud and clear. Your husband doesn't want to go to bed with a football player. He wants to go in bed with you. That's very powerful. Don't go bed with so many sweats on. That bad, bad. <laughs> All right, the need for date night. Yeah, date night, very important because, again, you are rekindling, mm -hmm. as I smell the food over there, you are rekindling the love, you're keeping it wrong, or, or warm. And also, men, when you help, you know, when you come home, you know, the house is all jacked up, you know what? A good man will say, you know what, honey, let me take care of the kids, you know what? Let me put the kid, uh, well, something Oops. like that. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let me take care of the kids while you enjoy yourself. And the more men do that, mm -hmm. it is emotional vibrator to the wife. I think it is a bit sexy when you it see is. your hubby cleaning the house. It is. Clean the house. Dusting. Oh, dusting is a new Spanish fly. Really? Women love when we dust. Love it. Well, totally. I just don't understand how it became the women's job in the first place. No, 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 no. Just don't do it. No, no, I don't no, no, understand. No, no. Obviously, they're going to have to start picking the, up after themselves. The more you do for the wife, <laughs> yeah, the more she, the more she do for you. Yeah, holla. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a good thing. It is a good thing. But again, you have to make sure because, you know, parents brag, oh, my kid is going to Cambridge, my kid is going here. And yet 25 years later, they're divorcing. You know why? They never took time for each other. No time. No, well, you're going to be a better uh, person. And yet, it doesn't have to be a really big chunk of time. Just no. holding hands or walking along the sidewalk. It bothers saying me. Saying sweet things to each it other. It bothers me. Uh, uh, Johnny's in karate mm -hmm. and uh, Sequitua is in tennis. All, I mean, they do all the stuff with the kids and never time for each other. Yet, they have excuses. Well, we can't do it. No, no. That's not true. As you give your kids time, you must have time 
for yourself as well. Now, how difficult is it for a single mother or a single father to very date? Very good question. Uh, that's very hard because a lot of times they don't understand that the person they're dating must understand it's a full package deal. And a lot of times with blended families, mm -hmm. there are issues. I'm used to being uh, by the parent by myself for, for uh, 10 for, uh, 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 or 7 years. Now, I have to bring this person into my life. That brings a whole lot of other issues. You must parent together, whether they're your child or your stepchild. Parent together. Communication is key. Very right. important. I mean, you need to really talk about all these issues. If you don't communicate, those kids will divide and conquer. They are mm -hmm. smart little ones. They, sure they are, are smart <laughs> munchkins. They will divide mom and dad. And so as I teach parents, you know what? When you have that quality time mm -hmm. in the bedroom, you put a little red scarf around the door saying, listen, when you see the red scarf, do not pass go. Don't bother mommy and daddy. We need our time. Red scarf, very powerful. Wow. I love that idea. Yep. I never thought about Red that. Red scarf. Train them now. If they're on toddlers, train them now. Red scarf, don't come near with nowhere near me at all because mommy and daddy need our time. All right. Well, that sounds terrific. Good advice. Lots Helpful of advice. great advice. Thank you very now, much. What about, uh, just really quickly. Though. Sure. Because <laughs> I know a lot of I parents. I right? <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you can talk for us yeah, yeah. all day if you can. <laughs> but generally, though, when it comes to what's the biggest and what's the best advice you can give to parents who are dealing with this issue right now? They can't seem to get yeah, that yeah, balance. Yeah. The best advice is that, you know what, learn from your past. Uh, a lot of times parents are parent based on what they saw mm -hmm. as kids. If they had a bad example with their mom and their dad, they have to write those things down. These are things we want to stay away from and make sure that they do just the opposite. That's very important because you will do things as, as you are innately given. And so if you saw it as a child, you do it as a parent. If you saw your mom just whack you every time you did something wrong, you're going to do that as a parent. So right. back up, learn from their mistakes, and go forward. All right. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Good Thank Thank you. We'll have you back soon. Because I'm a toy. Oh, I love your toys. <laughs> I love my toys, You too. always bring Great props. props. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we're joined in the kitchen with Holly Pinafore. She's going to make us a delicious lemon basil couscous.